What type of cushion should I use? Cushions are made of different types of materials. They provide different levels of support and pressure relief and have different qualities to be aware of. Even if your insurance will only buy you a new cushion every two to three years, you may be able to get a loaner before that if your current cushion is not working well for you. Note, cushions should be checked regularly to make sure they are still giving enough support to the right areas and to look for damage to the cushions. Skin changes as people age and conditions progress, so you may need to change cushions in the future. Types of cushions. Type one, foam. Foam cushions can be made of different materials. If they have an open structure, this allows airflow but absorbs fluids. If they have a closed structure, this does not allow airflow but gives a stable base. Pros of foam cushions are that they mold well to your body and return to their original shape after pressure is removed. Some cons of foam cushions are that as they get older, they can shrink, get too firm, or get too soft, and you may get uncomfortable, and that they can also get very warm. Type 2. Air. Two characteristics of air cushions are that they are sealed pockets filled with air and can have one or multiple sections. Some pros of air cushions are that you can change the air amount for comfort and pressure relief, that your bones may sink into the cushion more, that they are easy to clean, that most people can use them, and that they can last for a long time. Some cons of air cushions are that they need to be adjusted at times, they are harder to repair, there is a risk of poking a hole in them, and that they can give less stability. Type 3. Fluid or gel-filled cushions. The primary characteristic of gel cushions is that they mold well to your body shape. Some pros of gel cushions are that you feel bumps less when going over uneven surfaces, they have an easy to clean cover, most people can use them, and they provide better skin temperature control. Some cons of gel cushions are that they can freeze in cold temperatures, the gel can move away from you too much and cause pain and pressure, you need to make sure that the gel is spread evenly throughout the cushion and that they can be very heavy. Type 4. Cushions with a cellular matrix or honeycomb structure. The primary characteristics of cushions with a cellular matrix are that they flex when pressure is put on them and that they fit themselves to your body. Some pros of cushions with cellular matrices is that they bounce back when pressure is taken off of them, they provide good airflow and moisture control, they can be customized, they are lightweight, and they are easy to clean. Some cons of cushions with cellular matrices is that they must be checked regularly to make sure that the structure has not collapsed and some people may feel like they are too firm. Type 5. Hybrid Cushions Hybrid cushions can be made of many types of foam as well as gel, air, or other fluids. Please note, the pros and cons of each specific cushion 
will depend on the materials you pick. Some pros to hybrid cushions is that they can be personalized for what you need, they mold to your body, they spread pressure out well, they provide good skin temperature control, and they support your posture. Some cons of hybrid cushions are that you may feel change from one part of the cushion to another, and they may be more difficult to adjust.